We are checking out the third installment of the Cornetto trilogy. Which is the ice cream we understand. Yes. This is called The World's End. We mistitled it many times. <laughs> many times. At World's End. Uh, this is the this end. This is the end. Like, but whatever. We got it right now. Ever have one of those nights that starts out like any other but ends up being the best night of your life? Oh, yeah. Are you sitting comfortably? It was June the 22nd, 1990, our final day of school. There was Oliver Chamberlain, Peter Page, Stephen Prince, Andy Knightley, and me. They called me the king. Nice. My name's Gary King. Lee was funny. He fancied himself as a bit of a player, but really he was all math. We called him O-Man because he had a birthmark on his forehead that looked like a six. <laughs> he loved it. Pete was the baby of the group. He wasn't the kind of kid we'd usually hang out with, but he was good for a laugh. And he was absolutely minted. Steve was a pretty cool guy. We jammed together, chased the girls. I think he saw us as rivals. <laughs> Sweet, really. And Andy. Andy was my wingman. The one guy I could rely on to back me up. He loved me. And I'm not being funny, but I loved him too. There was nothing we were going to miss about school. Maybe Mr. Shepard. He was definitely one of the good guys. What? He used to ask me what I wanted to do with my life. They got Pierce Brosnan in this thing? Wow. That's impressive. Very nice. This is going to be a good one. I told him I just wanted to have a good time. He thought that was funny. It wasn't meant to be. Not that night. Come on, one, 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 five, six. Newton Haven was our hometown, our playground, our universe. And that night, it was the site of a heroic quest. The aim? To conquer the Golden Mile. 12 pubs along a legendary path of alcoholic indulgence. There was the first post, the old familiar, the famous cock, the cross hands, the good companions, the what? trusty servant, the two-headed dog, the mermaid, the beehive, the king's head, the hole in the wall, all before reaching our destiny, the world's end. Could you handle something like that now? Now? No. Now? No. no. No, no. At age 35 and 30. Oh, no. no. You uh, better start the bar crawl at like 9 a.m. And then we finish around 7. I got you. But if it's like, hey, let's go at a nine, I'm down. I'm tapping out after the first one. <laughs> like, I can't, I just can't, I can't hang anymore, dude. To be that young again, mm. seriously, one trip to the Guinness factory is enough for the both of us, right? <sighs> yeah. It's just because we know the, we know the extent of the shenaniganry. Yeah. Sh shenanigans. We know that what we could do and we choose not to. You're welcome. I mean, if you've seen our shorts, then you know <laughs> differently. But yeah. anyway. Yep. We took my car into town. I called it the Beast because she was pretty hairy. And so our journey into manhood began. We were off. We didn't waste any time. We hit pub one and we hit it hard. There was drinking. There was fun. There was controversy. There were ladies. There were shots. There was drama. And of course, there was drinking. Woo! By pub five, we were feeling invincible and decided to purchase some herbal refreshment from a man we called the Reverend Green. Uh -oh. Pint six put O-Man out of commission, so we carried on without him. Good thing, I bumped into his sister in the next pub. We went oh, into the disabled shit. and I bumped into her again. Sam <laughs> tagged along for a while, but then I had to let her go. I had another date that night, and her name was Amber. Uh. Nine pints in, and it was us against the world. Things got mental in the beehive, so we repaired to the bowls club, or as we like to call it, the smokehouse, which is when it all went fuck up. Everyone got power and Pete chucked a whitey, so we had to bench him. In the end, we blew off the last three pubs and headed for the hills. I remember sitting up there, blood on my knuckles, beer down my shirt, sick on my shoes, seeing the orange glow of a new dawn break and knowing in my heart life would never feel this good again. And you know what? It never did. Oh, man. Oh. Have a night that great, and you can never replicate it again. But you're always chasing that night. Oh, yeah. That's, that's rough, why man. I never chase those nights, because I know I can never replicate it ever again. Many a uh, high school uh, sports star mm -hmm. has fallen down the same trap. Mm -hmm. I'll never be able to replicate that winning touchdown. All of his movies, all of these movies are very small towny. Yeah, they have a bit of relatability to them that 100%. a lot of movies in this <laughs> genre do not have. No. Yeah. Thank you, Gary. That was very enlightening. Would anyone like to add anything? 
or maybe challenge Gary? Are you disappointed? About what? <laughs> you didn't make it to the world's end. Ooh. Oh. No. Yep. Just what is it that you want to do? We want to be free to, to do what we want to do. And we want to get loaded. And we want to have a good time. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a good time. We're going to have a party. Is this AA? Yeah, I'm this assuming is, this is like AA. Yeah, this is AA. Alcohol's oh, Anonymous. Or whatever that man thing that we did on You're Too Gay for Giving Up for Liam yeah, Gallagher. That whatever thing. that one is. Yeah, but there's a woman there, so it's definitely not that. It's not that at all. That's the most dressed stuff we've seen Nick Frost's character. 100%. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you saw him in police uniform and yep. hot buzz and, and as a bum in Shaun of the Dead. So this is progression. We're getting somewhere, We're getting with, somewhere. with Nick Frost. Yep. <laughs> we got him. Yep. Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm a man of wealth and taste. Driving in. What was that? Ah, uh, uh, whatever that is. Just what is it that you want to do? We want to get loaded. And we want to have a good time. Where is he from? Who? This one? Yeah. I have I feel no like freaking idea. A villain movie. I'm the wrong person to ask. I, I know, I got you. All yeah. Right. Uh, but he is in a car dealership, and this is 2013, and little does he know in 10 years that this whole business model is going to be gone. Yep. She's a beauty. Yeah. But she's no beast. Hello, Peter. Jesus. Gary. The once and future king. Were you outside my house this morning? No. I could have swore I saw you on my street. I've never been to Bishop's Gardens. How you doing, man? I'm well. You? Yeah, never better. How's Vanessa? No, your wife. Vanessa. How's she? She's good. Huh? Have you had sex yet? We have two children. Ooh, <laughs> twice. Get you, fuck machine. <laughs> we haven't changed, have we? What's he doing here? It's all right, Dad. We're fine. Hi, Mr. P. So, Gary, how can I help you? He looks well. Are you looking to buy a car? Uh, no, I'm afraid the end is nigh. What? The world's end. What do you mean? You know what I mean. One night, five guys, 12 pubs, let battle commence. You want to try that again? Isn't that something you've always wanted? Not particularly, no. <laughs> Look, Peter, we didn't make it before, but this time we are going to see it through to the bitter end or lager end. We, the whole gang, even Andy. Why wouldn't Andy be coming? Well, I thought that after the accident. Not an issue. He is in. What we want to know is, are you? Well, I'd have to check with Vanessa. Who's uh, Vanessa? My wife. Since when have you had to check with your wife? Since we got married. Oh, come on, man. Don't you miss it? The laughs, the camaraderie, the fights, the hangover's so fierce it feels like your head's full of ants. Well, maybe the first two. It begins. What's your new number? The same one I've had for 10 years. What's that one? This entire row here, they'll all have dormer windows above the front elevation. Who's the helmet without an helmet? Oh, shit. That's Gary King. What are you doing here, Gary? You're supposed to say who's there. I can see who's there. It's you. <laughs> Hello, you're done with the place? A bit drafty. <laughs> How's Selena? We divorced 10 years ago. Mm. Yeah, I know. Just wondered how she was. She's doing very well, apparently. You got anyone else on the go? Yeah, I do, as it happens. She's a fitness instructor. 26. Pedophile! <laughs> I'm kidding. I'd love to meet her sometime. No. Why are you here? Haven't you heard? We're getting the band back together. Are you a bass player anymore? We're getting the boys back together. We can get the band back together as well if you want. No, <laughs> we can't. You sold my guitar to buy drugs. I've always wondered, what is that thing over the door called? That's a lintel. So, the plan is, we're gonna go back to Newton Haven, we are gonna do the Golden Mile, and this time, we are gonna make it to the world's end. Everybody's in. What, even Andy? Oh, you better believe it, big balls. Andy's going drinking with you. With us? Think about it. Go back to the old town, sink a few pints. 12 pints. Yeah. 12 pints is insane. <laughs> I know. What's this all about, Gary? It's about closure, you know? Why should getting older? I bet this is what being friends with Liam Gallagher is like. I oddly relate to him. Yeah. Hey, here, here's my thing. We all have that, whatever it is in your own life, mm -hmm. we all have that, like, unfinished bar crawl. Yeah, we have that unfinished business. You know, and, and understand that we're we're in the age where, yeah, the hangover is not worth the yeah. journey. Yeah. And and the bounce back isn't worth it. Oh, fuck. Um, so I feel him. 
Yeah. You got to get the boys together one more time before you're too old and crotchety to even consider it. Yeah. And now it's like you rally the boys. Well, they got to check with their wives. They got to check with babysitting schedules. Yeah. Like you relate to that hard. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's one's not simply just go out on a bar crawl. Right. Unfortunately, but I get it. Yeah. Affects something as important as friendship. A lot's changed since then, Oliver. Right? This is our chance to take stock. I take. You make it sound so much fun. Come on, oh man, isn't that something you'd like? What, what I'd really like is for you to take your DMs off the sofa. Look, if you're worried about me, don't be, all right? I am here to tell you that Gary King is back on the horse. Whoa, 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 you're, you're back on the horse? No, I mean, I'm back on the bike. What's bike? What mean? What's bike slang for? Bicycle. I'm lost. Don't be. Okay. Listen, this is our chance to finally finish what we started. Come on, man, it'll be fucking mental! <laughs> I think we're all done, so... What, how do like the property? Well, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Amazing, like... Fantastic. Fantastic aspects. It's just, it's just a little bit out of our price range. It'll knock some off for you. Well... What's it on for? 1.2 million. Fuck off. You have my card. Gary, WTF? It's good to see you too, oh man. Please <laughs> don't call me, oh man. Sure. Hey, how's your sister? She's fine. Does she talk about me? No! So, Friday, we'll all go down together, make a road trip of it. I'll drive. Uh, I don't think I can. I think I've got a doctor's appointment. Yeah, you do. With Dr. Ink. <laughs> With Dr. Ink. Yeah, drink, I get it. Yeah. Come on. It won't be the same without the old man. Jesus. You can see the guys, mm. see how they're doing, tell them how you're doing. You never know. You might make it to the end this time. Andy is definitely coming. Yeah. Andy Knightley. Totes. And you convinced him how? Mr. Knightley? Felicity. Oh, shit. Yeah. I have a friend here to see you. No, I don't. This has been grown up, hasn't it? Yep. I saw the boys the other day. Oh man, Stevie Baby, Baba Peter Troll. Yeah, I remember the names of our childhood friends, Gary. We had ourselves a little idea, as you know. Yeah, we're going to go back to Newton Haven. Why? For some unfinished business. That's a joke, right? Five guys, 12 pubs, 50 pints. 60 pints. Oh, <laughs> steady on your fucking alky. I haven't had a drink for 16 years, Gary. You must be thirsty then. <sighs> But we can go back, see the guys, chew the fat, it'll be just like it always was. Except this time, we are going to finish this thing once and for all. You have a very selective memory, Gary. Thanks. You remember the Friday nights. I remember the Monday mornings. Yeah, that's why we're going back on a Friday. Yeah. Why do you think none of us live in Newton Haven anymore? I don't know. Because it is a black hole. It's boring. It always was and it always will be. Dude, like, I love how um, Greg, I think his name is, yeah, is it, like basically bluffing all of his old friends into coming into this thing. Yeah. Which is what you gotta do. Yeah. Which is what you gotta do. If you're gonna get the boys together, you gotta lie. Yeah, yeah. Say that everyone's on board already. Yep. Like, that was part of Greg's uh, spiel is, he you is know, coming. That he's coming. Yep. Which, uh, that means something completely different to the Gen Z people. Andy's coming. I no idea. Did you ever see Toy Story? 100%. Yeah. Andy's coming. All the toys go back down oh, like oh. that. Oh, I have no idea. Yeah, and when you had all Andy's coming, all the kids go down on the floor. Oh. Weird. weird. Anyway. You guys are weird. It's <laughs> arguing with you. Exactly. So come. I'm picking everybody up from High Wycombe Station Friday, 3 o'clock. Sharp. No, Gary. Oh, God, why have you got to check with your missus? No, actually. I don't have to check with my missus. What are you doing? I'm showing you the door. Is it a door? I mean, it doesn't have a lintel. And it's glass. So is it a window or is it a door? Maybe it's a window. <laughs> Get out there. Please leave, Gary. All right. All right. 600 ones. What? Oh, what? I thought you should know. What? I died. When? A couple of weeks ago. The big cancer. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. She just always really liked you, you know. Got me thinking about the old days, particularly that night, you know, because we were so happy. And, you know, I love the boys like brothers. But uh, when all's said and done, you're the best friend I ever had. Oh, come on. It's good to see you, mate. Oh, man. It got lighthearted. It took a 180 degree turn quick, just then. Quick. Yeah. Now man. we see why Greg is like, hey, let's do this. Yeah. Steven. Thank God. I had a horrible feeling I was going to be the only one here. I reckon that's not the last horrible feeling you're going to have today, mate. This can't be happening, can it? You said it. What the hell are we doing here? Well, we always did. 
follow Gary King into almost certain oblivion. Hello, Stephen. <laughs> 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 All right, mate. Peace. Oliver. Hi, mate. Didn't we decide to stop calling him fearless leader somewhere around 1992? Old habits die hard. Uh, They'll be putting that on Gary's tombstone. No, they won't, you know. He'll outlive us all. That'd be funny if it wasn't true. Hang on a sec. What? So I'm just trying to decide which of us is the biggest idiot for coming. <laughs> Maybe we had an accident. Oh, sorry, Andy. Sorry. No, 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 it's fine. I think Gary having an accident would actually be the best outcome for all of us, including Gary. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Fuck you! Come on! Hell yeah! Oh, yes! Look at these cunts. You're late. No, I'm not. You are. You said three, it's almost four. Three for four? You know your problem, Gary, you're never wrong. How is that a problem? I can't believe our soldier in 1918. She's the same old motor. No. Nah. You're say an antique. Well, then let's get this antique on the road show! <laughs> Come on, you bellends, we're gonna be late. And we're back. Just like the five musketeers. Three musketeers, isn't it? It's four if you count D'Artagnan. Well, nobody knows how many there were, really, do they, Pete? I mean, history is a sketchbook. I, you do know that the Three Musketeers is a fiction, right? Written by Alexander Dumas. A lot of people are saying that about the Bible these days. What, that it was written <laughs> by Alexander Dumas? <laughs> Don't be daft, Steve. It was written by Jesus. <laughs> anyway, five sounds much better. I think they missed the trick only having three, because if they'd have five, then two could have died, and they still have three left. Are we there, yeah? Let's do this! Don't be afraid of your freedom! Two dragons. Oh, I remember this one. I put this on a tape for you, didn't I? This is it. This is the tape. Yeah, yeah, look. look. Where'd you find it? Who's in the tape player? <laughs> oh, look. Is anyone hungry? Uh, I need to piss, actually. <laughs> oh, my God. I bet you they didn't have to piss after that. So, it's just, it's sad but awesome. Mm-hmm. 100%. You know, it, it's, if, if Simon Pegg's character... Greg. Greg. If he was doing this out of, like, his heart now, like, you could tell the best of his times was already gone. Yeah, yeah. He was he's, on top of the world in high school. He's washed up. He's the epitome of someone that peaked in high school or college or university, sorry. Yep. So. It, it just, oh, it's, my heart breaks for him. Yeah, yeah. It, it's unfortunate. It happens over here too, guys. Yeah, yeah. More than you think. <laughs> yeah. This is a long piss. If it is a piss. Fuck your little poo. <laughs> Still work for your old man, Pete. Yeah. I'm a partner now. You? I started my own firm in 98. Got bought out in 05. I'm happier though. Less stress. On. Property. Co manager. Boutique estate agency in North London. Very competitive. Is it family law you're in, Andy? Corporate. Anyone know what Gary's doing? He's playing Need for Speed over there. <laughs> That's Jay I don't know. He did finally pay me back that 600 quid. Really? He borrowed 200 off me. And me? I can't believe it. I can't believe you'd do that. Oh. Of course I can. It's just robbing Peter to pay Paul. No, I borrowed it from Peter to pay you. I still owe Paul. <laughs> that son of a bitch. <laughs> oh. oh, shit. Newton Haven. Take a moment to look upon it in its original colors, boys. But tonight, we paint it red. Paul back. Oh, no. No, no, no. All right, before we get into this, yes. You're red. You got red on you. Apparently, I have that in the <laughs> thumbnail of uh, the Shaun of Death reaction. Yeah. Which, by the way, if you want to see that, look at above Daniel's face. Yes, it is. Oh, no, fuck, fuck. Oh, no, it's okay. I did it all in the services. So I pulled you over, sir. Was the music too loud? Your left brake light's faulty. Oh, <laughs> the old brake lights. So cool, because they're always breaking. I'll get that sorted out, officer. I'll see your license, sir. Yep. Oh. Uh, you know what? It's in my wallet. And I left that at the bloody gym. Any other form of identification? No. It's all in my sports bag. That's bloody typical, isn't it? I'll give you my name and address. You can run me through the old uh, system. Go on, then. Yeah. Peter Page, 48 Bishop's Gardens, London, N2. <laughs> what a shitty friend. Oh, God. I would never do that to you, FYI. <laughs> it's, it's all right. It's... Which, by the way, his address is right there. Go visit him. Yes. <laughs> it's a scary WTF. You should give him my name. I'm not going to give him my name, am I? Well, suppose I get done by the police. You won't get done by the police. Gary, he will check the number plate against his name. I know. Why do you think I gave him Pete's name? Just... So, Mr. Page, what brings you to Newton Haven? Well, we're all from here. We're just back to see the sights, have a crack at the old gold mile. Might get a bit messy. 
Well, you make sure you get that brake light fixed and uh, you might want to do an emissions test too. I want Peter. Don't make too much mess. <laughs> we won't. Oh. Understand. It's simple, Pete. The car's still registered to you. It has been since 1989. <gasps> but I've moved three times since then. I know, I changed the logbook. <laughs> Where do you think all those points came from? Jesus, you guys need to relax. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Playing that is, chess. That's some chess. big brain moves right there. What? Oh my God. I mean, oh my gra God. Granted, you know, that is, that is punk rock <laughs> that's, right there. That's, you don't want him as a friend. No. But if you're that friend, goddamn. Fuck play no. Play the system. Holy shit. Do you know how much trouble you could get into? Do you know how much trouble I'm already in? What's that supposed to mean? Wait, what the hell is this? Why are we even here? We are here to get annihilated. <laughs> Have you got any plans for dinner at all? Tonight, we will be partaking of a liquid repast as we wend our way up the Golden Mile, commencing with an inaugural tankard in the first post, then onto the old familiar, the famous cock, the cross hands, the good companions, the trusty servant, the two-headed dog, the mermaid, the beehive, the king's head, and the hole in the wall for a measure of the same, all before the last bittersweet pint in that most fateful terminus, the world's end. Leave a light on, good lady, for though we may return with a twinkle in our eyes, we will in truth be blind. Drunk. No, that's not that right. I thought, it was, you thought it was his roommate from Shaun of the Dead. Yeah, no, that's not him. Oh, it, it could be. I, I just don't see him. So, yeah, yeah. let's all just, right. you know, maybe he'll show up later in the movie. Cheers to all you friends that have fallen off this group. Yeah, because at one point, all of us have been in that group. Mm hmm, 100%. And cheers to all of you who reconciled and yes. was able to at least relive some of those days. Yes. All right. Yep. Come on! Oh, wow. Until 1840... Fucking hell. This building was the site of Newton Haven's first post office until an enterprising business fellow decided that far from befitting the sending and receiving of mail, it was perhaps better suited as a humble tap room where a weary traveler might get sweated. Come on. It's like deja vu. Oh. Now, earlier, um, someone in the friend group said that this town was kind of a... Uh, run down place a lot of old people so i'm gonna make a prediction and say that all these pubs are going to be similar to that i i would say that too like but when you're a kid you see things differently yeah like y y you can easily get alcohol i'm assuming a lot of these places they serve youth so you hop at the first opportunity you get and you're in your in your mind's eye it's veiled in some different it's shrouded differently yeah yeah it, you ha you see it with blinders on the sides of your right. eyes yeah. and you those don't blinders really stay, don't come yeah, out yeah you don't really take a step back and watch Janice that does bingo every tuesday yeah <laughs> you know or uh uh you know what's his name that is escaping from his wife that guy yeah part of that nationwide initiative to rob small charming pubs of any discernible character Starbucking man, it's happening everywhere. Can't take away the smell though. Sure they tried. <laughs> Good evening, Raymondo. The prodigal son's return. Hey, who's on the guest list tonight? Come again? The guest Dales. We, sir, are doing the Golden Mile, and you have the honor of drawing first blood. <laughs> what do you recommend? And there's one. It's crowning glory. Other fitting. How's that? I'm Gary King. Well, so tell me more. What? Crown and Glory, is it nutty? Is it foamy? Is it hoppy? Does it have a surprisingly fruity note which lingers on the tongue? It's beer. Mm. We'll have five of those, please. No, sorry. Can we have four of those and a tap water, please? What? Three, four, five. <laughs> I don't believe this. Earlier, he said he said that he doesn't drink anymore. He hadn't had a drink for 16 years. Here's my thing. Being, being a estranged best friend your job really is to get them to crack you know like yeah. if you if you said i don't drink my job is to get you to crack yeah. that doesn't mean i gotta give you a beer yeah i just gotta get you to crack yeah i mean i'll, I'll swat the beer out of your hand like a <laughs> shitty best friend but i'm still best friend yeah yeah couldn't have said it better myself <laughs> a man of your legendary prowess drinking fucking rain it's like seeing a, a lion eating some hummus 
make any sense? No, it doesn't make any sense. You seriously have a problem with me not drinking after what happened? I don't. But King Arthur does. Oh, this will be good. What's King Arthur got to do with it? Do you honestly think that King Arthur came back from the Battle of Hastings, fucking rocked up at Arthur's castle, Camelot, walked up to the bar and went, Hello, can I have a tap water? No, because they didn't have running water in Arthurian times. Exactly! He would have had a mead, the King Arthur of beers. I'm less of a man because I choose to drink water. Well, it's a bit all ducky, isn't it? It's not very PC, Gary. Get out of the 90s, <laughs> Pete. There is nothing all ducky about being teetotal. About walking into a pub after a rugby match and ordering a tap water at a bar packed full of big ugly bastards wearing war paint. That, my friend, takes confidence, yeah? I'm talking balls. <laughs> you said it, Puff. If you're aware of this, Gary, but we are not teenagers anymore. And God forbid you ever have children. Because I have kids. Then you better be ready to take responsibility. No, I mean, I might have kids. You remember yeah. Karen Egerton, who I, uh, <laughs> fucked? She was two weeks late when her parents emigrated to Normandy. I never heard from her again. She might have had a baby. Imagine that. A French kid. It's pointless arguing with you. To kids, wherever they may be. Kids. kids. Drink up. Let's boo. What is that? You remember Let's Boo Boo? You know, from Mr. Shepherd's classroom, it said on the wall, Exit Pursued by a Bear, you know that Shakespeare play? A Winter's Tale. What was it called? A Winter's Tale. <laughs> and if we needed to make a quick getaway, we'd say, Exit Pursued by a Bear. And then it was, Exit Pursued by Yogi Bear. And then it was just, Let's Yogi and Boo Boo. And then, Let's Boo Boo. So you're saying we should go? Shit here, isn't it? <laughs> Gary is 100% me before I met my wife. <clears throat> I was a partier. I drank, I smoked, I fucked. I mean, luckily, from what I know, I don't have any kids around, so, um, it's just, I know like, I wrap that rascal up every single time. They, so. um, they embody all of us. Yeah, at one point at or one another. At one point or another, or the future us. Yeah, I'm not quite at Andy's level, but I don't think I'll ever be at Andy's level, but I respect, you know, the decision to not drink. And my, my brother is like that, you know, and I respect the hell out of him for it. I just, um, those that have misused alcohol, I will respect that. Yeah. As a course. Yeah. I predict later in this film we're going to figure out what the hell happened to Andy yeah. that makes him not want to drink That's anymore. That's the big question because apparently he remembers, he doesn't. Yeah. So... That says everything you need to know. That's everything. Yeah. I mean, yeah. The old familiar. Now this is a pub. Oh yes, this is more like it. What? Like deja vu. It's the same It's the pub. same fucking pub. The filmmakers use the same set. Brilliant and, and brilliant. Yeah, and a lot of it, I know my, my wife, she went to Georgetown in DC and the Tombs was like the go-to bar in that area, excuse me. And it's been bought up by Clyde's Restaurant Group. Oh. So I can relate to this. And, you know, old bars being bought up by, by ch chains. R rich assholes who want to ruin shit. It's what happened to Pete's Coffee, Caribou Coffee, got all bought out by Starbucks. Yeah. They all sort of look the same. Yeah. So, ooh. Yeah. This is where I would pull the emergency brake and be like, what the F is going on? Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. They're at Pub 2. Hopefully, this will change. Maybe. Yeah. David, my man. Heard the news? Gary King is back in town. Who's he? Two, three, four, oh. five. How was the funeral, Gary? Your mum's funeral? It's difficult to put into words, but if I had to choose three, I would say, really sad. Oh no, that's two, isn't it? But really very sad. What a shame. She was a good woman. I really liked your mum. <laughs> Me too, mate. Me too. Hello. Hello, mate. Are you here? Yeah, I've been here for ages. What are you talking about? Uh, you get lost on the <laughs> river again. Oh. This is Newton Haven. God, I hate when people have that, that the Bluetooth or... They're talking on speakerphone in public, and everyone can hear them? Fuck those people. If your privacy interferes with my public, we have a problem. Couldn't have sent it better myself. What time are you meeting the twins? 
But uh, we're all at the old familiar. Come by if you want. He is. Okay. See you soon. Who's that, man? Don't call me O man, Gary. If you must know. Sam. Sam's here. Is there a fucking echo in here? Yes. Sam's here. She's down from Manchester, drunk in Mumsden. What is he coming here? Hey, calm down, Steve. I saw a Jesus bird. Christ, not this again. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I saw a bird. Wow, you really have a selective memory, don't you? Somebody else was saying that. Me? No, I would have remembered. I told <laughs> you something about Sam, and you Look. proceeded to try and get in her pants at every opportunity. Guys, please. You only liked her after you found out I liked her. That's right, because you did the school play. The cabaret, because she was in it, and she wore those fishnet stockings, and you got a big boner on stage. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, it doesn't matter anyway. She was at a massive wide on for Adrian Keane. I hate that prick. Can we not talk about my sister in relation to A, massive wide ons, B, Stephen's erect penis? All right. Is she still fit, though? I'm not answering that. <laughs> Is she, though? Am I what? Fit. Oh, Sam. <laughs> Stephen, wow. You've grown, haven't you? Yeah, sideways. You look fantastic. Steroids. Wow, You're long right, time. Hi, Pete. Hi, Sam. All right, big brother. Oh. Gary. Welcome, bienvenue. Welcome. Sam, would you like a drink? Hey, Steve, she's just got here. Come on. Sam, would you like a drink? I'll have a vodka tonic, thanks, Stephen. Sure. I'm just gonna nip to the loo. Cool. Nature calls. Oh, God. What are you doing? I'm going to the toilet. Well, then so am I. Gary, you are out of your mind. What are you talking about? You gave me the sign. What sign? You went to the toilet. Gary, are you serious? I haven't seen you in 20 years. Do you really think I'm going to have sex with you in the ladies' toilet? Well, the disabled is out of order. Gary, what happened? I don't know. Maybe one of them put too many paper towels down the toilet. We don't know what they're thinking, really, do we? No. What happened to you? Nothing happened to me. I'm the same old Gary. So do you want it? Oh. <laughs> oh I've thought man. about that. I've never done it. Oh, man. This is one of those things where you're gonna get comments saying, oh, don't pause it, just let it play out. Yeah, yeah, like, I, I felt that slap. Yeah. That was a slap on your, on your, on your high school memories. Yeah, on your ego. Oh, man. All right. You going? I thought you weren't meeting the twins for another half hour. I'm not. Uh, oh, yeah, I believe this is yours. Out of order. <laughs> oh, God. I have a joke. I don't want to know. What you do to me. No. What is that? Well, no. It's a memorial, isn't it? It's a modern art. <laughs> hey, guys, do you know what time it is? It's not even six. Wrong! It's high time we got on to the cock! Nice. <laughs> oh. Let's go! Come on. <laughs> when you ready, mate? Stone roses. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Look who it is. Oh, Rattle. shit. Wow. <laughs> That's our dude. Lizard. That's my dude. That's my dude from Hot Fuzz. Yeah, I got a permit for this one. <laughs> all of them. Hell yeah. Oh, man. People and underwater Nazis and... Some bullshit about uh, the Bermuda Triangle actually being a square. <laughs> no, he said it was two isosceles triangles forming a rhombus. He was your best mate, wasn't he, Steve? <laughs> no, he wasn't my best mate, Gary. <laughs> he was a lonely old guy and I felt a bit sorry for him. That's right. Basil! Maybe we're not the local legends you think we are. Gary King. Speak for yourself, mate. You're bad. Oh, no. <laughs> Fucking believe this. This is ridiculous. Leave it, Gary. It's not worth it. Have two in the next one. Have them all in the next one for all I care. We've got to have one in every pub, otherwise they all think's fucked. I'd say it was fairly fucked already, mate. Right. Oh! How much more of this do we have to endure? That was three. There's nine more. Oh, good. Fuck that. I need to eat some. Well, we can get some food in the next pub. As long as it's reasonably healthy. <laughs> this is you can pay hardly the heart of the organic revolution. I doubt it's the heart of anything. My wife wanted us to go organic. Problem is, I kind of like eating shit. The next pub does shit! Keep up! Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. I remember this one. We had New Year's in here, didn't 89 we? 89 into 90. Isn't that where you slept on the pool table, Andy? Yeah, I believe it was. Yeah, it's sick. Thank you for letting me sambuca. Do you remember when you woke up, we said you'd been asleep for a year and that it was 1991 and you freaked out and punched the clock? <laughs> that was a great night. <laughs> what a dick. Yes, I did something of a personal triumph, but I say some myself. Mm -hmm. She of the mind. Marmalade sandwich. They're very same. Erica Leakes, Tracy Benson, Becky Salt. Two blondes and a redhead in the middle. The marmalade sandwich! Becky Salt, fucking hell. Wonder what they're doing now. What are you asking? What do you mean? I've been sitting at that table over there, our two blondes and a redhead in the middle. Shut the fuck up. Oh. Erica Leakes on the left. <laughs> Tracy Benson on the right. Oh, the no. <laughs> we should get them over. No, no. Leave the past where it is. It's bad enough having to look at your old ugly mugs. You make it sound like we're fucking ancient. 
We haven't changed that much. I mean, sure, Steve's let himself go a bit. What? Pete's still got the same haircut, and Oliver's still got his mark of the devil. No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. No, it's called laser surgery, Gary. It's a small price to pay, but I've been called fucking O Man. That you know, works with Sisters of Mercy tattoos as well. I still like the Sisters of Mercy. Oh, good job, or you never go swimming. I'm lost. Don't be. Well, I, for one, think it's nice to see your faces again. Cheers, mate. Excuse me. It's taken. <laughs> Is this seat taken? Have it, mate. Thanks. Wasn't that Shane Hawkins? Hmm. Hey, didn't he? Yes, he did. Hang on, what happened with Shane Hawkins again? I'd rather not bring it all up again, if that's OK. Hey, now listen, Pete. Bottling up past trauma can lead to inadequate coping strategies in later life. Ooh. Apparently. <laughs> no, I don't know. I mean, it's not even about the past. You know, it's, it's, it's not about the fact that he bullied me. That he made me miss more school days and chicken pox. It's not even that he forced me to spend entire lessons hiding in a toilet cubicle. Or that he punched me so hard he dislodged my eyeball. And it's not even that he ruined a large portion of my childhood. No, it's the fact that just then, he didn't recognize me. He looked straight through me. It's like it all meant nothing. Ow. That probably sounds weird, doesn't it? Shots! H-O-T-S! Shots! What are you doing, Gary? I thought that was obvious. Shots. Firstly, Peter was talking about something which clearly made him feel very uncomfortable. No, that's all right, Andy. No, Peter, it's not all right. Secondly, 12 pints is more than enough. And thirdly, I don't fucking drink. But shots don't count, do they? You said you wanted to catch up and chew the fat. I think you just wanted to drink it. You're not here as your friends. We're just your fucking enablers. Yeah. Enabler. It's a funny word, isn't it? Enabler. Gary King and the Enablers. That's a good name for a band, Steve. Write that down. Don't do a Gary, Gary. Oh, is that a thing now, is it? It's always been a thing. Yeah. You don't need us to help you get fucked up. You have done a perfectly good job so far. Oh, on your shit. I am going to go and see if there's a bus back to London, if anyone wants to come with me. But you can't go. This is special. This is our anniversary. It's not the anniversary, Gary. We did this in June, it's October. Yeah, but it's, it's the anniversary <laughs> of the year, isn't it? Every year is the anniversary of a year. It is not the same anymore, Gary. And it's not that the town's changed, we have changed. Yeah, well, you, uh, you can't go, because the buses are finished. Then I'm going to go back to the B&B. You come in? Yeah, I could do with an early one, actually. I should probably go and find Sam. Yeah, I'm going to go and find Sam with Oliver. OK, that's settled then, yeah? You know what I think? I think you're jealous. <laughs> yeah, you've got your, your houses and your cars and your wives and your job security. You don't have what I have. Freedom. Nothing. Oh. You're all slaves. And Freedom. I am free to do what I want any old time. And this is what you want? You should grow up, mate. Join society. Yeah, but I'm dying. And we're all very sorry. And now it's time to go home. Oh, man. I thought we were home. Hey! What? Great song. Oh, yeah. I was just going to say, like, that, all the four of them deciding it's time to go. That's an old person move. <sighs> but rational. It's necessary. 100%. Like, when you're kicking off a, a proper pub crawl, the smarter minds prevail early. Yeah. But they dull down over time. Yeah. And that's a, like a cautionary tale. Yeah. Whether you choose to be a part of society and dip out early, or you choose sails to the wind... Wreck your whole fucking existence. Get them on the same level. Yeah, yeah. And that's where I'm like, as as a husband, as a father, I'm with him. Yeah. I'm with dude in trench coat because yeah. I have a lot. When I gamble with this, yeah. I have a lot more to lose. You do. You and and I keep that in mind when we do go out and do stuff, you know, like the fact, you know, right now we've pounded like a lot of drinks. Oh, yeah. And you know, having... Having Daniel in my life keeps me in check because I, I'm there's still a bit of me because I don't have kids. I don't have a real job right now. I, you know, it was part of the one of the many things I like about being best friends with this man right here is he keeps me in fucking check. I, so try, I don't man. get to on go, revert back to what I was in my early 20s. We are still leashed. Yes. We 100%. are just. You know, we do what we will with the slack we are afforded without hanging ourselves right. on the slack. Right, exactly. So this is admirable, what's happening right now, the breakdown of the group. It's very, yeah. very true to form. But as with the first two movies, that could do a complete 180, and oh, yeah. something's going to happen. Yep. <sighs> Uh-oh. Oh, fuck! Hey! Fuck! Interesting. Careful. <clears throat> Floor's a bit pissy. Wasn't me. That was me. Young dude doesn't care. 
Don't why? 1990. Punch the shit out of the wall. <laughs> I don't know why. Seems important at the time. You guys look like you're having a good night though. Oh. Uh, doing the gold mile tonight. Yeah. Tag along. Cringe. I said we're doing the gold mile. I think you're so cool, don't you? Huh? But we were cooler. We own this town. Paved the way for you, lot. We blazed a trail. Hey, look at me when I'm talking to you. Please don't. Don't what? You don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, don't I? Here we go. Kick that old man's ass! Oh! Yo! Or maybe not. Hey. <laughs> Explain this right now. How did this kid just the dog you dare chase the subject? He smashed my head in the mirror. Do you know I just spoke to? You Your mum, and not from the afterlife, from fucking Bournemouth. Is that real? She says she hasn't spoken to you for eight months. Andy, his head just came off. No, Gary, you are not going to wriggle out of it this time. <laughs> what the actual fuck? W. <laughs> oh, shit. No. Oh, what? <laughs> what? Come on. Get those robots! <laughs> yeah, man. What is this? Oh no! <laughs> wow! <laughs> yes! Fuck yeah! What? Oh! What just happened? I think that last one was a callback <laughs> to removing the head and destroying the brain. Yeah. What? All right, I'm in it. This whole movie just changed for me. Yeah. We can show this because there's no blood. No, none. That it's all blue. Yeah. Those of you who gave us shit for blurring out everything. We can Man. get away. What the fuck does WTF mean? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. You said it, mate. I can't believe it. I know, mate. I can't believe you lied about your mum. That was a white lie. How is that a white lie? She's not dead, is she? Oh, come on, guys. Come on. Wait, where are you going? To get help? Oh, don't do that. What? Don't get help? We don't know how far this goes. Wait, who are you calling? Vanessa. Who's Vanessa? My wife. Why are you calling your wife? Because she's my wife. You just said you don't know how far this goes. I was just thinking about the pub. Oh, well, there's a surprise. I can't get through. You can get through to search. I've got full bars. I'm not getting through. Oh. Uh... Holy shit. This is all connected. This explains why everything's gone fuck up. Everybody's been replaced by one of these. That's why no one recognized us. Basil, Dave, Raimondo. I thought it was weird. Shane Hawkins. Exactly. It's not us that's changed. It's the town. I'm right, aren't I, Andy? Andy, aren't I right? You're never wrong. No, whatever the fuck's happening, we can't stay in the janks forever. Ten people have entered this toilet in the last five minutes, and not a single one's come back out again. That's gonna look suspicious. Huh? Gay loving. And that's worse than five dismembered bodies. This is new Haven. Holy shit. Another call back to Hot Fuzz, yep. where the whole town is different. Yep. Than your Oh, man. Like, like, we saw some comments, the positive ones, that said that there'd be a lot of foreshadowing and a lot of callbacks. Y'all were right. Dude, I love this. Remember, this is the first time I've seen this shit. Like, I love this. I'm in this. Yeah. Why hasn't this blown up, at least across the pond? I, I didn't know, I didn't even know this existed. I'm gonna take a guess. It's the same reason that both Shaun of the Dead and Hot Buzz did it either. Yeah. Write your own comment there. Mm. How's that looking? Normal. Very normal. I don't like it. What do we do? Let's finish our drinks. I love it. Oh. You're out of order. <laughs> I say we neck these and get the fuck out of here. To London? To the trusty server. Are you fucking kidding? Oh, yeah. It's the good companions next. I always mix those two up. Are you saying we move on to the next pub? Look, we should get in the beast and head back to London. My brake light is broken. So don't use the brakes. I'm way over the limit. Wait, so I don't want to put any more points on Pete's license. He can drive. He's teetotal. Oh, shit. He broke. Oh, shit. He broke. And he broke. Need I say more? That sells it, then. The last thing we need to do is get pulled over by the police. A, we're all drunk. B, they might be in it. And C, we've got blood on our hands. It's more like ink. We've got ink on our hands. So, has he got messy yet? What are you, five pubs in? Poor. Leaving halfway. Plenty more fun to be had. Enjoy your night, Peter. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. The way I see it, we've told everybody we're doing the Golden Mile. You did. If we suddenly jump in the beast now and head for the hills, they're going to know that we know. But if we keep doing what we're doing and going where we're going, then they're not going to know. Who won't? That we know. I suggest we finish what we started and leave quietly in the morning. Wait, you, you're really suggesting? We finish the golden mile. It's pointless arguing with him. Drink up. There's... There he is. Hell yeah. Oh, that's not a good sign. Nope. Everyone's looking at you. For the wrong reasons.
Yeah, I mean, you feel that way when you've had way too fucking much. Yeah. But this is a real life for oh, that. Oh, man. Oh, God, no. I hate that feeling. Yep. One. Oh. The Hell fact yeah. that there are five pints is the most normal thing here. Yep. And, like, I don't like to... Uh, that's why I don't go out to pubs as much anymore. Bars or whatever. I don't like to be judged. Yeah. I just want to <laughs> either drink a lot or eat a bunch of crazy food. Don't judge which, me, which, man. Which is another... In this... In this... In what what, what I'm experiencing in this... um Not shadow, but in this new... This new light of what life is for me. Um... Invest in your, your, your home, your home drinking. Invest in the place where you escape. This age that I'm currently in is, um, I see the need. That's why I made the bar. Yeah. It's like, make your own escape. If you want to see that, look above Daniel's face. But uh, that, this is like adulthood. Before you go out, you make those places places that you frequent. As an adult, you invest in your own place to yeah. escape. Which is different, which is 100%. different because you don't have a place. Right. So you do now. Is... Yeah, I'm lurk. I'm working on that. Yeah. Drinking ah. beer pubs. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> okay. I feel a little uncomfortable drinking this much. No, man, it's like Dutch courage, isn't it? You know when the English soldiers used to drink Dutch gin before battle to give them super strength. And I thought that was an under sense of impending doom. Exactly. Oh. Just five friends on a night out having a good time. All right, this is number six, right? Yeah, I think so too. Foster, we don't uh, have that on tap, do we? I don't know. I don't think we do. Uh, maybe the more upscale pubs, which are like you know, British the, pubs. Yeah, the they drink Fosters. Pubs. Australians don't. Uh, that's what we've learned. But yeah, like, which we've also learned is in the same vein as like Bud Light and Miller Light, but not not Stella. Which was surprising to me. That's like Coors Light. Yeah. Yeah. Go on then. You've earned it. Huh? You're doing really good, Oliver. He didn't make it this far last time. I'm proud of him. You enjoy this, are you? Yeah. Five guys on a night out having a great time. Pretending to have a great time. Are you pretending? If we get out of here alive, I'm going to kill you. We're still in the dark here. Gary? Yeah. Our families could be in danger for all we know. I know. My mum could be dead. For reals this time. <laughs> uh. Hey, why don't we just ask somebody? Who? The Reverend Green. Come on. What the fuck are you doing? I'm gonna go and have a little chat with the Reverend Green. You're not gonna buy trucks. I'm gonna go over there and subtly check if that is the Reverend Green. And if it is, I can ask him what's going on and possibly buy some drugs. What if he's one of them? No, me and the Reverend had a highly sophisticated code when discussing the purchase of herbal narcotics. If he doesn't understand me, it means he's one of them and I will simply walk away. Have you got any drugs? Don't do that anymore, Gary. Do what? That. So we were in a suit, is it? Because drug dealing's not good enough for you. There are no drug dealers anymore, Gary. Got a proper job and a proper office. You had a proper office. That was the gents toilets. There's nothing wrong with doing your business in the toilet. Look, a lot has changed since you've left. I know. How much do you know? A little. How much is a little? The town's been taken over by robots full of blue stuff. Shh, keep your voice down. You don't even know what you're talking about. Well, tell us then. Well, they're not robots. Do you even know what robot means? Of course I do. Hello, I am a robot. It means slave. Believe me, they're not slaves. Are you their prisoner? No, I'm very happy. Oh, tell your face. Hey, what's going on? The town's been invaded by robots who aren't robots and the Rev's their prisoner. I'm not. Hey, we're leaving first thing. We can get you out of here. I'm not going. It's not what you think. This is for all our benefit. You've said too much, Trevor. Yeah, put a cork in it, Trevor. I'm just trying to help. It's not your place to help. They will have everything in hand. Are you guys robots? Well, the word robot actually comes from an old Czech word. Robotnik. Meaning slave. And we're not slaves. We're very happy. And not robots. Oh my god, are these guys robots? Shut up about robots. I say we shut up about everything. Oh wow. Trevor, it's your supervisor. Oh, sir. But I understand. He got fired. He got fired. Thanks a bunch. Oh, shit. What did I miss? Your friends trying to help. We don't need your help. Well, what should we do? I suggest you get on your way. I think we should do what he says. Okay. Oh, oh shit. Wow. Those were the kids. Yeah. Those were the kids. Yeah. Like, it, it seems like nothing happened. Is it just them? 
Or is it all the town? I would assume all, all the town. Interesting. All right. Shit. Cool. Yeah. Number seven. Let's just get in out of this one. Yeah. No more making new friends. Ah, gentlemen, the prodigal son's return. What'll it be? One of our guest ales, perchance? Might I recommend five pints of crowning glory? Rather fitting, wouldn't you say, Gary? Sorry, what? It's a delightful brew. Hoppy, nutty, foamy. Does it have a surprisingly fruity note that lingers on the tongue? Well, you're obviously a connoisseur. <laughs> then you'll already know that it's a rare treat for rogues, reverends, a royalty, and all good folks between. Five of those, please. Y'all come home, boys. Oh, shit. Is it in the beer? Say again. Is it in the beer? Ooh, that's one way to poison him. Mm -hmm. He's obviously one of them. How can he be? Remember me? We don't know what they remember. Or maybe they have selective memories. Yeah, like, what's his name? Me. Maybe it's one of the others, like the reverend. It's very hard to tell, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, or is he one of them? Wait, which ones are the thems again? Well, they're both thems, aren't they? But there's two ways of saying it. Is he one of them, or is he one of them? We need different terms. One for people that aren't robots, and one for robots who aren't robots. All right. We need to be able to differentiate between them, them, and us. Yeah, I think the pronouns are really confusing. Yeah. Yes, I don't even know what a pronoun is. Well, it's a word that can function by itself as a noun, which refers to something else in the discourse. I don't get it. You just used one. Did I? Yeah, it is a pronoun. What is? It. Is it? Christ, no! We just need a fucking word so we can identify you. She's a blank. Those two people are definitely blanks. Sam, look at this team. <laughs> All right, Sam. Oh, crumbs. How's your night going? I sort of. What do you mean, sort of? Well, it's weird, isn't it? Come back and everything's the same, but sort of different. Huh? I'm getting at Gary. Fuck's sake, Gary, take a hint. It's all right. I'm not trying to have sex with you. Why are we in the disabled toilets then? There's something I need to tell you right now. Unless you do want to have sex, in which case I'll tell you afterwards. Tell me right now. Have you noticed anything creepy about the twins, apart from the fact that they're twins? Just because they're twins doesn't automatically make them creepy. It does a little bit. You had sex with them. A, I did not. And B, how did you know about that? A, it's a small town. B, I'm not stupid. And C, they told me. Right, well, I did once, but I was wasted, which was creepy because it was like there was four of them. I'm not proud of it. I am a bit. Is this what you wanted to tell me? No, this is. Are you okay, Sam? I need a cigarette. No bots. How about faux bots? You know, I think we should get away from the whole robots thing. Stephen? What's he up to? Oh, don't worry. He's probably just trying to fuck Oliver's sister. And me. Oh, my God, that man is full of shit. I know that's not a surprise to you. What, what did, did he say, say, Sam? He said that Newton Haven has been taken over by robots, full of blue stuff. And if we don't do what they say, they'll make us their prisoners. Did, did you believe him? him? No, of course not. Oh. Did you believe him? Me? Hey. Come on, Sam. Yes! Oh, shit! Oh, yes. oh, shit! I... All right. So I, I get the underdog only succeeds and is only the hero when the world's at peril. Yeah, when the world is about to fucking end. Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, right here. Yeah. And I, I, I think back to the Bill Burr stand-up. There's no reason to hit a woman. I haven't uh -oh. checked that out. Oh, my God. Yeah, and, and that's Points. a reason to hit a woman right there. <laughs> Points. Only the few reasons to hit a woman. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is it Ziggy? Oh, Gary, what's happening? I told you in the disabled. Oh, yes, you did. We should get inside, eh? Otherwise, people are going to ask what the hell's going on. What the hell's going on? Steve, I got this. Go on. Sam, he's not good enough for you. What? what? We have been through some crazy shit tonight. I, I just really put things in perspective for me. And if everything is as fucked up as it seems, then there's something I need to tell you. You might think this is because I've had seven pints, but it's I'm in love with you, Sam. I always oh, have to. Oh, shit. And it breaks my heart to see you waste your affections on Gary fucking King. Hey, that's a bit harsh. Oh, no, you've got it all wrong. There is nothing And while I'm me. being honest, just to lay it all out there, I am currently seeing a fitness instructor. She's 26 years old, but I would drop her in a heartbeat if it meant that I had one last chance with you. Stephen. There is nothing between me and Gary King. Oh, shit! Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, shit! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, what? Get your feet up there! Yes! Come on, come on, come on! Yes! 
nothing suggested in the last three minutes has been better than Smashy Smashy Eggman. No, nothing. What the hell's going on? Smashy I'm Eggman. Robots, robots. I'm afraid we've drawn a blank. Or we just had a Barney with two blanks in the beer garden. We have to leave now. Agreed. Priorities. Let's <laughs> hit the mermaid. What? Number eight. Number eight? Oh, fuck. Andy, what's happening? Gary thinks we should keep up with the crawl because they know what we're doing, but they don't know that we know what they're doing. And basically, no one else has a better idea. So fuck it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait. I love that. Guys, guys, I've got a better idea. I'm parked right around here somewhere. Oh, oh let's just go. Yeah. Stay and tell them. Look, Gary said they'll get us if we try and leave now. <laughs> we're way past leaving now. Come on. He's one of them. 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 Something happened in the bathroom. Calling it right now. What? Oh, this is what the kids want. Why didn't you say anything? About what? About what you said in the garden. I always wanted to. I just never seemed like the right moment. Something always got in the way. There you go. Get these down, ya. Yeah. Hey, Stephen. Oh, oh shit. Please. I have so much to live for. It's me, you numpty. Basil! I knew seeing your faces again would spell trouble. Wait, I know I know it's really you. Because I'm the only one who's going to tell you the truth about Newton Haven. Now, do you recall the events of the evening of June the 22nd, 1990? No, but I know a man who does. That was the night they arrived. Remember the shooting star? That was them. Nothing happened at first. They were getting ready, burrowing in underground, preparing. Not long after you lot left, people started to change. Just one or two at first, then more. They replaced people of influence, taking over the institutions, remaking, remodeling, refurbishing, doing everything they could to make us join them. I can't find Stephen. Well, where are the others? They're blending in. Oh, crumbs. It's not like the replacements were evil. Far from it. People got a lot friendlier. That's how they do it. It's not an invasion, it's a merger. They don't want to get rid of us, not if they can help it. They just want to make us more like them. Change the way we think. Bring us into line with all the others. Become another link in their chain. Which is fine, unless you say no. That's when you get replaced. Once they get your DNA, they've got you. How do they do that? Any way they like. Blood oh test. shit! The thing that went. Kissing. Saliva on the rim of a glass. Why do you think I drink with this crazy straw? Not so crazy now, is it? If you're not on their side, it's a version that is. They can bring you back exactly the same or even make you young again. It looks like you, it even has your memories, but really, it's just a vessel to spread their message. Trust, love, respect, oh, desire. Replaced in the name of progress. <laughs> so what happens to the people that get replaced? The empties. Don't ask me what happens to them. Why, what happens to the empties? I told you not to ask me that. Go, get out before it's too late. Shit. Basil? I said go! This just can't be good. Sam, who was the boy that you liked in sixth form? Adrian? Adrian Keane? Why? Uh, he's over there. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> hey, Sam. How's life? Sam! We have to get out of here! Where are the others? They're blending in! Oh, fuck! Gary! Oh, no, just one more song. Gary! She's a blank. Don't be so judgmental. Oh, for fuck. Oh, yeah. Come on. Still got it. Enough's enough. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> Where are you all going? We're, We're leaving. leaving. Really? What happened? Adrian Keane was in that bar. Prick. I thought you liked Adrian Keane. Adrian Keane's dead. Oh, God. Adrian Keane died in a motorbike accident in Italy eight years ago. Did he? They must have had his DNA on file. That's how they were able to replicate him. They know how to get to us, man. They know everything. They didn't know Adrian was dead. They knew enough to tempt us, though. They knew these three had fall for a bunch of girls in school uniform. Hey, who wouldn't? Am I right? Yeah. We've got to get out <laughs> of town. We've got to get beyond it before it's too late. Where are you getting all this from? Basil! Oh, mad Basil! He of the Bermuda Rhombus and the Aqua Nazis. Another good name for the band, Steve. You're putting our lives in the hands of a crazy old man. He's not crazy. No, maybe he's not. Or maybe he's a blank trying to lure us to the edge of town onto those dark country roads where they can deal with us. Yeah, we could end up dead in a field. Hey, fields. Yes, my thoughts precisely. Stephen's right. We should go. No, we are going to the beehive. Gary's plan is still the best we have. Wait a minute.
1990 model Oliver was out of commission by this point in the evening. What are you saying? I like the new you! Oh, come on! This is a mistake, isn't it? Oh, no. Stick with me. Andy! Come on! Here we go. Up number nine. <laughs> That's the spirit, Pete. Oh, spirit! Oh. We should do chases. Who is this guy? Oh, come on. <laughs> Andy! It can't start without you. Do what? We can't start without you. Check that guy's ass. Whose round is it? It's mine. Mr. Mr. Shepard? Shep? Is it Mr. Shepard? Why don't you kids join me? You look like you could do with a drink. Interesting. Now, let's have a little chat about your future, shall we? Mr. Shepard? Please. Call me Guy. All right. Guy. <coughs> Are you a robot? Does anyone know what robot means? I, yeah, I do. Yes, Gary. Uh, it means slave. Oh, very good, Gary. Are you a robot, sir? No, Peter, of course I'm not a robot. Uh, sir? Yes, Stephen. But well, you're on their side, though. This is not about sides, Stephen. It's not about shirts versus skins. It's about working together as one team. I know it may seem a bit weird and a little bit scary, but please believe me, it's quite the opposite. They're here to help to straighten us out, to prepare us for the big league. They've seen something in us, a potential. There's a vast community of worlds up there, living together, peacefully, cooperatively. And guess what? They want us along for the ride. Uh, Pretty cool, eh, gang? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, they're not here to harm us? Oh, far from it, oh man, no. They're here to help. I'm not saying they're afraid to get tough, I've certainly had to get tough with you in my day. And what one amongst you wouldn't thank me for it? In some respects, they're a lot like teachers. Stern, yes. A little frightening, but it's all for our betterment. So, what do you say? We all go somewhere and talk about this. That wasn't properly? Well, I think it's pretty clear, guys. What Mr. Shepard is trying to say is that... Oh! Andy! What the fuck? He's a robot! What the fuck? WTF! Yeah. Oh. If you will not join us willingly, we will be forced to use other means of persuasion. Now, please. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah! Fucking hate this town! <laughs> yeah! Ah, fuck. <laughs> yeah! Priorities! <laughs> You'd see the light. Yes. You see, it's not about conflict. It's about togetherness. Yes. Let's try this again, shall we? How about another round? Nah. We're done here. Yes, Gary. That appears to be the case. Oh, ow! What? Just do it! Come on! This way! Oh! You won! This is your final round. Let's go! Dude, yes! <laughs> oh, shit. Hold on, this one off. Let's go another the I got a better idea. <laughs> oh! Just go. Wait, what about the others? Be with me. I got this. Are you sure? I always land on my feet. I don't know if that's true, Gary. J just go. What if I know what happened to my brother? Of course, of course. And I'll, I'll, I'll look after Stevie for you, eh? He's a good guy. He's better than me. Gary, you're not a bad person. You're not boyfriend material. The whole free spirit, quit one and save all toilets thing, it, it's, it's, it's kind of cool when you're 17, but not when you're facing 40. There comes a time you have to go forwards, not backwards. Maybe if I hadn't left you behind that night, things would all be different. <laughs> what about that night, Gary? Doesn't have to be. We'll always have the disciples, though, won't we? <laughs> yeah, we always... Jesus Christ. Fences again! <laughs> all the time. All the time. Jumping over the fence. 
Jumping over the fence fail. I am. In every fucking movie. Yeah. Of this trilogy. My God. Press up. I put her in a car. You did what? I put her in a car. I just told her to leave. You just sent away the, the only one of us sober enough to drive. Yeah. You just couldn't stand the fact that she might prefer me to you. That's not true. It is true, Gary. I was getting somewhere. We held hands. I was just trying to help. You're trying to help yourself more like. Jesus, I do something right for a change and you fuckers get on my case. Wow. That is the first time I've ever heard you admit being wrong. I said I did something right for a change. So? Meaning the rest of the time you're wrong? <laughs> <Not> necessarily. <laughs> Ow! Just said it was best to keep her out of harm's way. What about us, Gary? Are we in harm's way? We're all right, Pete. Come on, we're the five musketeers. No, we're the four musketeers. Do we know you put her in the car? How do we know you're you? Of course I'm me. But who the fuck are you, Gary? I'm Gary King. All right, there's only one Gary King. How do I know you guys are you? We've been together the whole time. Well, you might all not be you. How did you know O-Man was an O-Man? Because his birthmark was back. What does that prove? Because of what Basil said. They make a copy from your DNA. I didn't That's know why that. His birthmark, he was new. Why didn't I catch that? I didn't catch that either. His birthmark was back? Didn't know that. Oh. I didn't catch it. That slip. Wow. We missed it. We missed wow. it. Wow. It's one of those things we're going to catch when we watch it back. Yep. Like a baby. Like a man, baby. Like a baby. baby. Oliver with none of the shit that had happened to the real Oliver. And a laser surgery. So the blanks really are just blank. No wear and tear. No scars. Steve, in 1987, we were playing cricket and I accidentally pushed you onto a broken bottle that nearly went up your ass. So, mm. show us your bum. Oh! Very nice. Thank you. Pete, you got that 50cc Suzuki in 1988 and you let me have a go in it and I ran over your leg. What the fuck? Oh, boy, right. it's the other one. Oh. Andy, in 1986, we reenacted the knife game from Aliens and I stabbed you in the middle finger. How about December 1997? When you OD'd and I drove you to the hospital four times over the limit and I ended up rolling the car and almost severing my femoral artery, at which point you made a miraculous fucking recovery and ran off into the night. Leaving me to get arrested uh, after 12 hours of life safe in surgery. Either one of those will do. Thank you. What about you? That's easy. I could have been drawn on. Well, an old tattoo's drawn on. Yeah. Show us your arm. Or what? Show us your arm. You fell off stage at the fifth year ball fucking around and dislocated your elbow. You have got a scar where they put the metal plate in. I don't have to show you anything. All right, Harry King, I know I'm me. If I'm not me, then how do I know that carved into that beam above your head are the words King Gary? But it doesn't say King Gary. Yes, it does. No, it says King Gay. Oh, some cunt scrubbed out the R. That was me. Why? King Gay. That means fuck you <laughs> anyway. Mr. Shepard remembered stuff, so did Oliver. Selective memory. Remember? We don't see you for years. And you just pitch up and bring us here. You better come up with some hard evidence that you're human. Otherwise, we're going to find out for ourselves. You want evidence? <laughs> that proves I'm human. Proves you're stupid. Exactly. <laughs> proves you're stupid. Exactly. That's a good thing. If everybody's outside, that means nobody's inside. Gary, wait. Fuck. Gary, what do you mean nobody's inside? I mean, we can still do this. Do what exactly? Oh, we're still on the crawl. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Peter? <laughs> Peter? I thought that was you. You okay? Um, am I what? I know we didn't see eye to eye at school. Goodness knows I regret that. I wanted to say something back at the pub, but felt so terribly ashamed by what I'd done. Let me make it up to you, Peter. Please? Uh, oh, no. Too fast. Don't you dare. Fast. I know. We are going to get to the world's end if it kills us. Where's Pete? Hey! Pete! 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 Why are you doing this, Peter? We don't want to hurt you. <laughs> oh, nice! Yes, it fucking is! I would love to do that to my high school bully. Oh, man. That would be so great. Oh, shit. I must say, I'm very disappointed in you, Peter. Punch that fucking lights out! Oh, no, 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 there's too many of them. Here. Oh, no! Oh, shit! So that's how it's done. We gotta go. Gary's right. We gotta get to the king's head. Exactly. What? We are not going to the king's head. We're done. We're gonna do what we should have done in the first place. Get the beast and get out of here. We are fucking leaving and we are never coming back. Now you can either come with us willingly 
I am gonna knock you the fuck out and carry you there myself. You choose! All right. Just think about what you're saying, you know, because you haven't been drinking. <laughs> oh. oh, they're carrying him. Shit, it's those fucking kids. Oh, not them again. What the hell is that? I don't know, but it's definitely the modern art. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Oh, shit, we are trapped. Where's the beast? Okay. All right. We're here. The beast is in the next street. How are we going to get to it? Oh, I'll have to go through. Through where? Oh, I don't fucking believe this. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Come on. Shit. Uh, right, no. Let's go. Here we go. There it is. We wait for an opening, and then we... So That's the same set piece as the Winchester. Yep. Yep. And the, whatever that bar was at the at the end of Hot Fuzz. Yes. Beast, we need the keys. <laughs> <laughs> Gary. What are you doing? Just a little toast. Gary, put the pipe down. Yeah. To Oliver, Pete, and to us. Because 10 pubs isn't bad. It's not, but we're calling time. So close. <laughs> Number 10. Oh, wow. So close. Gary. Gary! Let him go! He left you, man. I can't. What does that remind you of? Last call at every bar when I was younger. I was gonna say Wardeka. Yuda! <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, we've all had those moments. Oh, we certainly have. Oh, shit. Gary! Eric, come back, you stupid bastard! <laughs> come on, man! Oh, that's the robot! <laughs> yes! Yeah! Oh, number 11! Andy, look out! Get it, dude! Come on! Drink up! Fire them off! Come on! What the? Shit! Gary! Andy, get the fuck in! You heard him, Andy! 11! Get the fuck in! We have a bunch of time! Where the fuck is he going? Number 12! That's where he's going! Go now! Nice. Where's he going? Oh! That's where he's going! Andy, I want you inside me. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. Yes! Yeah. Yes. To a loyal man! <laughs> You've had enough! This is the world's end, man! I know! Stop this! What do you care anyway? Of course I fucking care! There is a reason I'm angry at you! Oh, I know why you're angry at me, okay? But it's not my fault that you crashed that car! That's not the point! You let me down, man. You were Gary King! Gary fucking King! I would have followed you to the end! I fucking have! Let's stop following me! Oh, oh shit! No! It's just one more out! Let me have this! You've got everything you want! What are you talking about? Oh, you've got your perfect job and your perfect house and your perfect wife! You think so perfect? She left me, Gary. She took her kids to her mum's three weeks ago. She said I'm not present enough. I am trying to win her back. God knows I am losing. But I will continue to fight because that is how we survive. For fuck's sake, Gary, I just punched my wedding ring out of a robot's tummy! Exactly, <laughs> you, you fight for what's important! For what is so important about the Golden Mile! It's all I've got! Gary, now! Need help, Gary? I got help. You know what help was? Help was a lot of people sitting in a circle talking about how fucking awful things have got. That is not my idea of a good time. And this is... They told me when to go to bed! Me! Oh. May you tell when you're drunk if you're never sober. I don't want to be sober. <laughs> it never got better than that night. That was supposed to be the beginning of my life. All that promise and fucking optimism. That feeling like we could take on the whole universe. It was a big lie. Nothing happened. You don't need to do this, Gary. Oh my God, let him have this. Where's the bear? Oh, oh no. Oh shit. <laughs> Shit. What the hell? Oh shit. What the actual fuck? That circle part, call back to Hot Fuzz. Yep. Get that in before we yep. have some intensity. Gary King of the humans. What, what do you want? We are here to enable your full potential as we have with countless worlds across the galaxy. Oh yeah. How did you manage that then? 
We appropriate a small percentage of the population at 2,000 or so penetration points across the planet. This ensures maximum coverage. From there, we create simulants to spread our ideologies through peaceful indoctrination. Our objective is simple, to ready the population for participation in our galactic community. This method requires a small sacrifice. But the fewer replacements we make, the more successful we consider our operation. Of course, we welcome those who volunteer themselves. We can offer attractive incentives for those who willingly combine. The chance to be young again, oh. and yet retain selected memories. Isn't that something you'd like? Something you've always wanted? What the oh, fuck? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I'm so cute. <laughs> The beauty of our system is that we all win. There are no losers. Allow me to carry your legend forward. Let the man you have become be the boy you were. Don't you fucking dare. Nah. There's only one Gary King! Then you have made your choice, Gary, King of the Humans. Have. Because, frankly, who the fuck are you to come down here and tell us what to do? We are the network, and we are here for your betterment. In the last 23 years, have you not marveled as information technology has <laughs> surged forward? No. Earth has grown smaller yet greater as connectivity has grown. This is our doing, and it is just the beginning. Oh, fuck off, you big lamp. You are children, and you <laughs> require guidance. There is no room for imperfection. Hey, Earth isn't perfect, all right? And, and humans aren't perfect. And guess what? I ain't perfect. And therein lies the necessity for this intervention. Must the galaxy be subjected to an entire planet of people like you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who are you in charge, huh? Who are you to criticize anyone? Now, you might think Gary is a bit of a cock. And, and he is a bit of a cock. <laughs> But he's my cock. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> but he is a detriment to himself, just as Earth is a detriment to the galaxy. What did he say? You act out the same cycles of self-destruction again and again. At this point, your planet is the least civilized in the entire galaxy. What did he say? Say we're a bunch of fuck-ups. <laughs> hey! It is our basic human right to be fuck-ups! This civilization was founded on fuck-ups! <laughs> and you know what? That makes me proud. And me! What is it they say? To err is... To err is human. To err is human! So, uh... Do not believe you speak for all humanity. You are but two men. Two drunk men! Three drunk men! Half humans! Oh, you are in trouble now! It's only the fucking three musketeers! You are revolting against the wisdom of <laughs> countless solar systems! Yeah, we are revolting! Wait, you just said you're not here to conquer. Can I just ask, how many people did you have to replace in New and Haven? That is irrelevant. Is it? Hands up. Who here <laughs> is human? <clears throat> I'm human. One. And me. That's two. I am. Uh, don't know for how long. Bam! So what's that? Three? You had to replace an entire town. Not the entire town. Well, everybody apart from old Nutball and the Shifty Twins. That's a good <laughs> name for a band, Gary. You should write that down. I will. What about the ones you replaced, like Peter and Oliver? What happened to the empties? I told you not to ask that. Redundant vessels are recycled, mulched, and converted into fertilizer, oh, whereupon they are returned to the Earth to promote verdancy and growth. It is a highly efficient means of organic renewal. Mulched? It is a relative few in the light of our long term plan. You mean a few hundred thousand turn to fucking and compost? What about the other places, the penetration points? <laughs> Are they as successful as Newton Avon? Because I'm, I'm guessing we're not the only glitch in your system. It is true. The network has been experiencing some difficulties. I think you bit off more than you could chew with Earth, mate. Yeah, because we are more belligerent, more stubborn, and more idiotic than you could possibly imagine. <laughs> I'm I love not it. just talking about Gary. Yeah, there's more than one Gary King. But you said... I fucking know what I fucking said. Your <laughs> reliance on profanity is a measure of your immaturity as a man and as a species. Why don't you just... 
Get in your rocket and fuck off back to Legoland, you cunt. Oh. Yeah! Stop <laughs> fucking starbucking us, man! It's our duty to challenge you! Just leave us to our own devices, you intergalactic asshole! You misunderstand! Shut up! We are trying! No one is listening! If you don't leave! Face it! We are the human race, and we don't like being told what to do! Just what is it that you want to do? We want to be free! Yeah. We want to be free to do what we want to do! Yeah! We want to get loaded, and we want to have a good time. That's what we're going to do. It's pointless arguing with you. We'll be left to your own devices. Really? Hey. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. They fucked off! We did it! Gary! The murderer! Shit's here, isn't it? Oh, shit. Get out of there, man. Well done. Thanks a bunch. Had to go and spoil it, didn't you? Yeah. Happy now! Buzzer, what do we do now? Same as before! Go! Where's the beast? The beast dead, mate. You know what? You know what? He's really annoying. What? I promised myself I wouldn't die in this town. You're not gonna. I think our luck just changed. What? Oh! Sorry! Sam? Yes. You came back for us. Yes, I did. But yeah, oh, I got lost on the ring road, but yes. Hi, Sam! Can you give us a lift to London, please? Did you find out what happened to my brother? Tell the other way. Oh, sorry about the mess. I've been meaning to clear that up. We forgive you. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of there. Which way now? Go straight over. Woo! Right, fuck yeah. What? <laughs> you can make it. We're going to make it. We make it. Uh, what? The fuck? Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god, did they make it? I think they made it. I think what? they made it. Wow. I'm sorry. Everyone remembers where they were when the lights went out on planet Earth. Me, Gary, Stephen and Sam. We were standing right by the switch. I guess it was a big night for everyone. That morning gave a whole new meaning <laughs> to the word hangover. We decided to walk it off on the way back to London. But the headache didn't end there, it just went on and on and on. Talk about the big smoke. When the network went down, it triggered some kind of pulse, wiped out all our technology, and sent us here, back to the Dark Ages. There were casualties, of course. I knew a few of them. Some guy from work, cousin Paul, Harry's mum. Nobody really knew how many we lost, because we never heard from the rest of the world again. Everyone got cut off. It isn't easy now, but it is simpler. I'm back with a wife, which is something. We decided our problems didn't seem as bad in the grand scheme of things. <laughs> we all had to go organic in a big wave. But if I'm honest, I'm hard pressed to recall any processed foods I actually miss. Oh! Uh, blanks. A funny thing happened there. They woke up. A week or so after the network pulled out, they just sort of rebooted by themselves and to start afresh. They seemed lost at first. Children cut off from their parents. Abandoned, forgotten, looking for guidance, for someone to show them the way. I felt a bit sorry for them, to be honest. The network was right about one thing. We can be a bit uncivilized. Maybe we would have been a bad influence on the rest of the galaxy. Oliver went back to being an estate agent. People still need a roof over their heads, and the old Ollie always had a gift for the gab. I guess the new one has too. He's doing all right. I hear that the Peter found his way home to Bishop's Gardens. I suppose he picked up where the other one left off. I'm not sure his wife noticed. Maybe she chose not to. <laughs> He's a pretty good dad, by all accounts. Stephen and Sam got together in the end. Didn't see that coming. They shacked up just outside London. It's a pretty nice shack, too. It's for Gary? I don't know what happened to Gary. He got separated. I never saw him again. Some say he went back to Newton Haven, but I don't know why. His business there was done. It's oh. funny, but I miss him. I wonder if he misses me. This is the boys. <laughs> Wherever he is, I hope he's happy. That's all he ever wanted, really. To have a good time. I just hope he found it beyond the bottom of a glass. Because real happiness, real friends, those are things worth living for, worth fighting for. Blank bastards. Fucking robots. <laughs> Five waters, please. Uh... You can have one, but I ain't serving this scum. Oh, well, I'm afraid it's all for one and one for all. You see, my young friends and I are on an adventure. 
a quest, if you will. And since we find ourselves in need of refreshment, you, sir, have the honor of drawing first blood. So I'll ask you again, for the last time, five waters, please. <laughs> Who the hell do you think you are? Me? They call me the king. <laughs> hell yeah. Dude, what? That, that automatic was, two thumbs that up. That was awesome. The best of the oh. trilogy, I would say. Like, it just got better with every single one of them. And, wow. I, I mean, it's a combination of some deep shit mixed with some comedy. Yeah. Like all the others. Like yeah. all the others. Um... Wow, that was good. Oh, that was good. That was good. That was a great movie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. No need to dive into, like, the uh, uh, deep uh, stuff about it. Like, yeah, I mean, you guys figured it out. Like, it's... It's... it's it is deep. It, it, it You can nuance the shit out of this movie. Yeah, we could. It could. Like, like what grabbed me was that last bit where they're at the bottom at the pub... And, you know, the discussion between, like, what is perfect and what, and the rights to be a human. Yep. And to err is to be human. And I, that grabbed me. Yeah. It's just like, that's who we are. We're all fucked up in some weird way. Yeah. And to ask for perfection is to not be human. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. Like, man, what, man, there's not a lot more you can say. This is great. Anyway, for the YouTube crowd, thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing, hitting the bell, and sharing with your friends. Definitely, guys. Wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose, embrace the suck. Unplug and do something epic. Like this. Yep. See you next time. Later. Fellas, we could be that mistake. Let's do this.